They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Where's it coming from? I'll go look. Hi, Jesse. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating, coordinating? What about the Time to work. Meet me in the main denounce. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? The directorial override is right there, in the control room. 
how do we get there? What's down that way? This makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? See the Hess keep up with me now.
Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus, no perkele suora, that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The words on the task board here, you can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all, you'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into the again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on.
dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. it. Smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and, uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. 
Right there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I should be going. Right. You gotta lock down the lift. Replace the parts. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the 
because I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. I trash. Did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but. If that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. We need to fix this thing ASAP.
control. Go to ship. Fix it fast. If the plant goes boom, we can throw the spoon in the goal. The clock is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the fish trap.
is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Hold together a little longer.
need to hurry. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick pants inside the plant has a ship fit.
to protect them. Forces contain a lockdown. Could only be lifted by a directorial override. This is what we came here to do. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Jesse, you made it, and you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created... doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. 
She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling.